I almost can't think of any better feeling than traveling and teaching intensely for a week, driving long distances and sleeping badly in hotel beds, to then be able to wake up slowly after a good night's sleep in a cozy little house in a small fishing village, looking out the window, knowing I have three days off and I'm going to spend them in one of the most beautiful places I know, the island of Senja in northern Norway. An ancient land ruled by high mountains, deep forests and blue fjords with a long and interesting history. A place that I had been longing to see more of ever since our first visit last fall. quiet here, we can hear the birds and the waves from the sea crashing towards the pier. It's just like, yeah, it's so nice to wake up here. And also I sleep really well here. <laughs> so beautiful here. And these mountains, like every morning we could just look out the window and they're there, you know. <laughs> It's almost like you think they're gonna disappear during the night because they seem so unreal. <laughs> if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Maria and this is my partner Bendik. We basically travel around Norway quite a bit with work because we have a workshop that we take to different schools in Norway. And I often make videos along the way about the places we get to see and the things we get to experience on the road. Especially when we go to places that just take my breath away like the one I'm going to be sharing with you today. Welcome to Senja and to our beautiful Airbnb here in Grillefjord. We arrived here late last night and we have a couple of days actually to explore this beautiful, beautiful island. We are going to see some of those like really famous places here on Senja. And we're gonna go on the most famous hike that is called Heston. And that's probably gonna be tomorrow because there is gonna be sunny weather tomorrow. And today is a very rainy day. So we're gonna spend a little bit more time on like sea level, if you know what I mean. And I'm gonna tell you more about what we're gonna do when we get out the door because we are like on the move right now to just get out of here. We have been spending a long morning here. Yeah, we are staying in this fishing village called Grillefjord and we're staying in this really cozy Airbnb that is like a time capsule almost or they call it the time capsule, the people that own this place because they have made it to look almost like a house would look in the 1980s when this house was built. So all of the things in here are like very specific and yeah, it's so cozy, really, really cozy Airbnb. Uh, there's definitely a lot of things that are a little bit worn down here. and It's a little bit dirty some places, but it's such a cozy place to spend a rainy day, I feel like. So I'm really happy we decided to book this one. I'm gonna show you a little bit just before we get out the door. Uh, this is the kitchen, our favorite room. Uh, it's very nice, we have a view of the mountains outside and yeah, it's very cozy little kitchen. <laughs> this pattern on the floor is so cool. <laughs> I really like it. And this living room, uh, we haven't been here that much because it's quite cold, but I guess we can heat it up later this evening. There's a long, long hallway here. I don't know if there's any light. Yeah. And there are, I think we decided it was like eight places to sleep here. So there are so many bedrooms. So if you are many people, this is gonna be great. But we have decided on this room. So this is where we are sleeping. And yeah, it's a really strange, <laughs> but also very cozy bedroom. I love this tapestry on the walls. <laughs> and also we have a nice like corner window here with some nice views. Yeah, so that's basically the accommodation. It's a kind of worn down and pretty cold house as well. But we really like it because it feels so... Yeah, it feels very authentic. But yeah, let's get out of this house now.
place is so, so beautiful. Even on a cloudy day, this is just so spectacular. And this is just like one random place on Sydney. Like everywhere feels like this. Wow, everywhere is just wow. <laughs> So it's really cold and rainy and grey today and the clouds are covering most of the mountaintops and we are gonna go to the more southern part of this island actually and that is a part of the island that is not as like spectacular but it has something uh, also very intriguing which is a beautiful national park that is called Onderdalen and Bendik and I have both been kind of curious after reading about this park because it's supposed to be like a nature reserve and it has like a lot of wildlife apparently the Sami people have their rain there there for many parts of the year and yeah basically we just felt like it sounded like a good thing to do on a day like this when it's not so tempting to go up a mountain you know we have barely entered the, the national park and so far we've already seen an owl and a bird that we don't know the name of that was really big so so far it's uh, this is going really well <laughs> it does feel really enchanting i have to say especially with all these fall colors must be the best time of the year to visit this place. So this is uh, an old Sami settlement and it's really fascinating because the whole wall is made of birch uh, bark. We call it Never in Norwegian. Really beautiful. Do you think these houses were what inspired Tolkien to make the Hobbit houses? That might be. <laughs> <laughs> I think that is one of the most beautiful houses I've ever seen. And this place as well has a very special feeling to it. This does look very different from by the sea where we live. It's like completely different landscape, completely different mountains, just like a 45 minute drive from Grillefjord. Bendik and I continued driving along the edges of the national park all the way down to Seafjord and Jeska. And I would go as far as to say that this southwestern part of Senja is such a hidden gem. It's so quiet there and there are so few tourists, but still the views are so amazing. We noticed while looking at maps that there was a waterfall hidden within these forests, so we headed into the national park again to explore some more. Imagine having this heaven of a place so close to where you live and then you have also these amazing mountains and beautiful beaches and you're just so rich. You're so rich living in Senja. So lucky that we get to be here too. I feel like the name Onderdalen is kind of fitting for this place because Onder in Norwegian means spirits and I'm pretty sure that's not really why it's named Onderdalen, but it basically in my head means Spirit Valley and it feels kind of like that, you know. There's this feeling of mystery to this place and you kind of feel like you're walking in an enchanted forest. Thank you. 
We really wish that we had more time to like venture deeper into that valley because it's really really big and we think that we have like just discovered like a little fraction of it so we're a little sad that we have to go now but we have to go back now if if we're gonna be able to eat at any of the restaurants because otherwise they will be closing should we get back If you really want to explore Onderdalen, there are some more common entrance points than the one that we went to on this day. They're a little bit more accessible and they also take you deeper into the park, so... I am definitely going back and doing that myself someday, because what we saw of this national park made me want to explore it so much more. We're so lucky because there's actually northern lights out here now. We are driving on the national tourist route here in Senjal, the scenic route. And that's actually a road that starts in Grillefjord, where we are staying. And then it goes, I think, all the way to the northern side of the island. We're gonna stop at some of the beautiful places along this beautiful, beautiful road. And then we're going for this hike that we have wanted to go on for many years. <laughs> so yeah, we're excited for today. And it's also a beautiful and sunny day today, so. This was the day that we had set aside to explore the more visited northern side of Senja. Some of these places we had visited before and they definitely left an impression on me. It was however during a different time of the year and very soon we started to realize that this time we would not have all the sites to ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> but that is to be expected in such beautiful places. We find ourselves constantly having to stop because there are so many beautiful places here. This part of the island is, yeah, touristy for a reason. It's really maybe the most like wild views here. And we're now closing in on this beautiful beach and there's like a very funny thing here that we need to show you. And it's probably gonna be a good stop if you have been driving for a long time. So this right here is the golden toilet. So literally inside this toilet, it's not golden but it's red. And there's this beautiful ceiling window actually. <laughs> Thank you. 
pretty cool. <laughs> I really, really want to swim, but we don't have time because we need to get going so that we can go on the walk. We've got to fo focus on our mission. We've got to focus on the mission. <laughs> Let's go. Whoop, this is where we're going, I think. Adventure begins. <laughs> so from what I understand, you can walk to Segla, and that is this mountain here. Or you can go to Heston, which is where we are going, and that is kind of a mountain back here where you have the view of this mountain. So that's basically what we're going to do today. But I'm pretty sure it's kind of cool to walk here as well. If you Google Senya, chances are you will find a picture of someone sitting at a beautiful viewpoint with this tall pointy mountain in the background. That is this hike, and Benik and I had seen this picture many years ago, and ever since then we really wanted to go on this hike, so it felt almost a little bit unreal to finally be there. It is so steep on the edges here. I feel so scared <sighs> because I have a little bit of a fear of heights. But you can walk quite far from the edge though, so it's, it's okay. The hike is definitely not one that you will be doing by yourself. There were lots of other people here, it's just that I value their privacy, so I haven't filmed them. There seems to be a hundred hikes in Senja, so if you want to be all by yourself, there are plenty of hikes to do that. But the views of this hike are also definitely worth it. Wow. This is so, so beautiful. like this beautiful sunset for like two seconds <laughs> now it's raining <laughs> and the forecast didn't even tell us about rain but it's still so beautiful I'm not sure if we're gonna go down yet just because of some rain as Norwegians we always carry some chocolate <laughs> and coffee when we are on hikes Cheers. Not the worst view for a cup of coffee. No. <laughs> and there are quite a few people walking this route, but right now we're actually quite alone up here. <laughs> 
So maybe going in the evening is a good thing. I actually dream of living in the north so much these days. I dream of building a little nest in between these mountains and just live from my filmmaking because, let's face it, this place just has everything a filmmaker needs. I feel like it's so much nicer to sit down here for some reason. Maybe because I don't feel that scared <laughs> of yeah, heights. Maybe it's because it's not so close to edge. <laughs> yeah. But I sometimes also ask myself, would I actually create as much living there? Or would I almost feel defeated by this beauty around me? Because there is nothing that can really compete with these mountains. Everything is just so much more than what you can see in this little rectangular frame. So we just heard thunder uh, from over there. So we're gonna get down because <laughs> that's not something you wanna... Yeah, you don't wanna do that up here, so. Always when I'm up on these peaks, I just want to stay and kind of just live there. <laughs> Never want to go down. But there comes a time. Okay, let's go so we don't get stuck in the thunder. Did you feel dizzy or like? No, I felt like I didn't want to die. <laughs> That's good. I'm yeah. glad. <laughs> Let's get down from here. Yeah. Yep. Rullefjordbåten Føy sank sist i mai ved kai i Hopen ved Bode. Som følge av lekkasjer etter en rekke, rekke bombedetonasjoner eh, i havet nær skutefriet. Kutteren hadde lenge fraktet ammunisjon og soldater på de allierte. I really think that I could have stayed at Senja for months on end and I would have just explored all of these mountains and all of these hikes. But we were on our last day there, so we decided to do another hike on a mountain that is called Barden. And the really special thing about this hike is that when you're closing in on the top, you reach this beautiful open field landscape very high up on the mountain. It feels kind of like a highland landscape and the fall colors were so strong there. I'm so sad to leave Senja. <laughs> we will be back. We will be back. We had to go to one last place. So this is a beach very close to where we live. Mm. 
is literally like so warm. It's like mid-December. No, <laughs> mid-September, I mean. And it's, I think, 25 degrees today. <laughs> so crazy. We haven't had these warm temperatures in the south all summer almost. And here we are in the north. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> wow. Vannbendik og skoene mine også. Skitt. Ja, ja. Det var bra kamerabein, ikke bare vannet da. Vi valgte å se dette som «The Islands last farewell to us» fordi det var tid å leve. After having spent the evening looking at houses in the area and really thinking about making the move over to this island, I yet again realized that I have my obligations and my home in the south for now. But who knows what the future will bring. It was with this mix of sadness and gratitude that I was standing on the ferry leaving the island that day. And I really hope it will not be the last time I see it. If you have been thinking about going there, then do not think about it anymore. Just go. I'm sure you will not be disappointed. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is going to be the last video on the road for a while because now we're going home to our cottage. So I'll see you there in my next video.